practicing pulling out of a losing position every week, trying to get really comfortable, practicing my pronation out of a losing position here. And I'm really trying to get as much body weight as I can. When I can't do that anymore, I'll try to isolate a little bit, really focusing on my pronation number one, but obviously working my lats and my biceps and my chest a little bit as well. But number one focus here is pronation out of the losing position. And then I'll go supination. Sometimes I'll do it with just a strap. Today I put the fat grip inside the strap just for a little extra forearm pump there. So supination out of the losing position. I'm trying to right now pretty much act like if they're taking my wrist. I'm trying to get my wrist back, get my wrist back. Work on that pump right there the best I can. Still flexing my bicep. You can see a couple bicep curls. And then right here, I'm practicing my cupping and then pulling out of the losing position into a winning position. So going pretty much as deep as I can there, almost to a pin, kind of holding it, working it, feeling it, bringing it back. Obviously, full body movement coming over, flexing my chest, flexing my lats. Flexing my delts, my biceps, everything for the full body movement. As soon as I don't think that is productive anymore, I'll do more isolation, but I will go full body, losing position to winning position as much as I can. And of course, keeping your cupping is the number one thing if you're gonna do this. If you can't keep your cupping, can't keep your wrist in, then you have to do something else. I use the wrist max because it's the hardest to keep my cupping. It rips my wrist open with the least amount of weight. So that's why I use the wrist max um, because it's harder on my wrist than anything else I've ever used. So here at the end, I'm just working on a pump. So I'm trying to get behind it, get myself in a losing position, and then trying to get comfortable in that losing position and just getting a massive pump. No, there we go. So isometric hold, as soon as you can't pump it anymore, I always try to do some isometric holds. So right here, as soon as I couldn't handle a pump, I'm trying to hold on, my body's actually just in shock, swollen, starts sometimes, you know, if you get into shock, it starts shaking, it's definitely a good thing, holding on for dear life until I can't anymore.